Hey guys, so another different video. This is going to be more towards the girl world community. Um, I have, I want to say something because so many people, when they go against some of these reaction channels, they don't, they don't just, like, when they start having problems with the reaction channels, they go all in and try to accuse them of stuff they never did. I'm actually not that kind of person. Okay? So, I loved, loved the reaction channel French Fried Girl. Loved her. Because she gave, she would give Chantal the metaphorical punches in the gut when she needed them. Even though Chantal would never understand. She's not mentally capable of understanding right from wrong, yes from no, in from out, up from down. At this point. <laughs> uh, yeah. But a lot of the people will accuse Frenchie of being... Because that's her nickname, Frenchie. They'll accuse her of being, you know, a racist, a bigot, Islamophobic, all this crazy stuff. No. The main issue, and they, they, they just go, a lot of them just go for her looks. Charlie Gold is another Chantal reaction channel. Was, anyway. She's, like, long gone. What a coward, that one. Um, now, like... I don't even know. I don't even care to watch her anymore. Though I think the last live stream was like six months ago or something like that. Charlie Gold. Wow. I can't believe it. 100k subscribers and she's like... Pfft. She doesn't care about her channel, clearly. Which is fine. Which is fine. She doesn't really need to upload anymore. But all she did was come for Frenchie's looks. That was all she did the entire... It, she has issues with Frenchie. Now, I actually do have issues with Frenchie now. And it's not for what you think. It's not for what people... Oh, why don't you just hate... Why can't you hate her because of her... Th She's blunt, okay? And that's the problem with people. And this is for people in general. You don't like blunt and honest, truthful people. You don't. That is it. That is it. You just don't like, like them... You don't like harshness, but you have to grow up a little, people. You can't act like five-year-olds. You're too harsh. You're too mean. You're too much of a bully. <laughs> Come on. No, I have an issue with Frenchie because there was a stream she did where she was reacting to this other guy um, within the camping community or whatever the heck it's called where you like... Uh, basically, you you live in an RV, and you travel like a basically nomad. Um, it not that it's a bad thing. Okay, this this isn't the issue I'm having. So, what happened was now, this guy has his Instagram open, and 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 he'll let anyone message him. Chantal went in and messaged him. At this point, it was revealed to Girl World that Chantal was an animal abuser. And she was in Kuwait at this point. So she had reached out to this guy. And I don't think he knew the full story. He had to look into Chantal in the end. People... When they found, I don't know, when Chantal uploaded the video of her messaging him, messaging him back and forth, then people started contacting him like, hey, you might want to avoid this woman. She's an animal abuser, blah, blah, blah. And he had to look into her and sure enough, he found out about that. But French fried girl decided to stop reacting to him altogether just because she, he was in contact with Chantal. And called him creepy. Um, 
you can go back. It's in her... I forget the name of the stream. But those of you in Girl World will remember that. And I felt kind of... Because, like, he didn't know. He didn't know at first. All right. And then she has the audacity to completely shun him. And, well, I don't know if she shuns him um, or just decided not to react in public. If that was the case, I probably wouldn't have, you know. I probably wouldn't have gotten that way in the comments. But she called him creepy, too, so I don't know. Um, He didn't know. I don't think he knew Chantal about her or anything. I don't think he, and if he did, he didn't really listen. He probably wasn't really listening fully to it. Probably just listening to her ramble on and only watching the videos he'd react to, or the videos she'd react to with him. So she, he probably never watched the videos of Chantal. He probably would watch um, Frenchie's reactions to him. Because he, he liked what she had to say. So the fact that French Fry Girl attacked him and called him creepy because he messaged Chantal, I had an issue with that because it was like, what? why should you stop reacting to him? He didn't know about her. He probably didn't know about her. I, I doubt he even watched. I don't, I don't even think he watched that far into her. Like, it's not like, because he had his own life issues, right? Like, if he, um, if he watched anything, it was probably only the videos of Frenchie's reactions to him, like I'd said. I don't know if he watched much of the, the Chantal stuff. Maybe he wasn't into the whole, maybe once it started getting a little, because it got boring. The whole stuff with the cats, it did get boring. Maybe he just quit. He just quit and didn't watch any of the vet updates or anything like that or, you know when the cat was finally rescued. <clears throat> so I felt bad for him and was like, girl, like, why would you, why would you say that about him if he didn't know, he probably didn't know the full story and you're going to sit there calling him creepy? I don't know. I didn't get creepy vibes from the messages. I remember, um, Someone had reacted to Chantal's video and read the screenshots out loud. And I was like, that's not creepy. I didn't find them creepy. Maybe I missed something. Because I usually listen to live streams while I do dishes. So I was like, okay, maybe I missed something. But I don't think I did. I don't remember anything about him being creepy. Um, so, I don't know, I just felt... I felt bad for him. And that was what made me fully stop reacting to her. Or watching her, rather. Well, I still watch, but I don't comment anymore. Because I enjoy her Chantal reactions. All right? And now I feel even worse for her because... Like, I feel bad for her, really, is what I mean. Because her... She had both her dogs die. One died. They had to put him down, unfortunately, because he got very, very, very sick. And no matter what she did, she gave him all the medications she could. She, she fed him. Some, like, there was a point where she had to syringe feed him. Okay? I felt so bad for, for her. So bad. Because she had to... I'm not a dog person. Okay, I'm not a dog person, just like she isn't a cat person. Now, the cat, by the way, for those who don't know, the cat is with one of her family members, but she takes the cat to the vet and pays the bills and stuff. Um, but anyway, so I felt so bad. And then she lost her other dog. She had two dogs, and she lost the other dog a month later. We're guessing from grief. And I just felt like... Ugh. Because I just 
she was already going through a lot as it was, like people people calling her out for stuff she never even said or trying to call her out and being unsuccessful, I should reiterate. They try to call her out. She didn't do any of this stuff. I just, I do still have kind of a soft spot for her. I just, I got very, I don't know. Um, and the other reason I can't really watch her is because she gets so deep into the infighting within the girl world community that it's like, it's so bad. And then when people are like, people, um, sorry, um, I get so, like, I got, like, if people go, like, please, can we stop talking about this and just get on with the show, she'll block them. And then she'll tell them no trauma dumping. Um, so you're allowed to complain about people upsetting you or your, your mods, but you're, we're not allowed to tell our sad stories and have a little moment of recognition and, you know, It something doesn't make sense to me about that. But anyway, I still have a kind of a soft spot for her. And just earlier this... Was it this year? I forget. I forget how far back it was. Her mom died. And... Ugh. And why I believe her in all of this is because you can tell when she chokes up. Her nose gets that really clogged up stuffiness. She has to mute on occasion. You can hear like the voice. She is not acting, all right? And a lot of people just, oh, you're just doing all this for views. All of that combined together does not help her situation. So, I still really appreciate her. And I even put, I even, um, I remember back when her dogs died, I, I even put a comment that I was, I wanted to set aside my beef and let her know that I, I felt so bad. And I, um, and Frenchie, if you find this video, I, I still have a somewhat of a soft spot for you, okay? And I feel really, really, really bad for you. I, it makes me so mad that people want to go and attack you for, you know, things you never said or did. I, there's not a lot of stuff we're going to agree on. But you're not blocked from my channel. I don't block people on my channel. Unless they make racist comments. I have report Because I'm primarily a vegan reaction channel. I like to react to the craziness that is vegan YouTube. And uh, yeah. That's a whole other can of fish, guys. Any girl world people looking for a change? Wanting a cr want a crap show? I don't like saying the... Shite. Okay, shite show. If you all want another shite show to get into and you're not vegan, come over here. Come over here and listen to me. Blow apart the vegan logic. All right? You can do that if you want. Or not. It's okay. It's okay. Or you can call me vegan phobic and a racist bigot. Either or. <laughs> So, yeah, um, I'm pretty, I'm, I, 
a lot of, like, I started watching Frenchie because she has a lot of, she shouts everything that I would love to do. I shout in the air all the time about Chantal. She shouts everything that I want to shout. All right, and, you know. Now, the, the smoking on stream, that... I decided to just let that slide because I realized that maybe that was a little bit much. And, excuse me, um, and even, even the little, like, cause I did kind of say in a comment how Sometimes when she'll finish a stream or begin, be, like, get into the ending portion of the stream, she'll be like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Can we stop now? Like, she'll make a weird voice. I can't even really imitate it. And I hated that. I was like, can you not act like a baby? But... Maybe I wasn't having a good day that day and it just triggered me more. I don't know. I don't know. But that is the extent. Of that, I don't even care anymore. Don't even care anymore. You know? That was the least of my problems. I don't know. I don't think... Again, back to that other guy for a moment. I really don't think he understood the extent of the craziness that was going on. Because I think she had said that he watched he watched a little bit of it. He didn't realize just the, the full extent of it. Either that or Chantal created a... Um, I don't know. Maybe she... Because she can be good with that. She can be good with, with reconvincing people. Hey... Um, I'm not what they say. There's a lot of speculation and rumors and lies. She can be really good with that. Look, if it happened again, then I probably would have been like, okay, dude, you were already informed of this woman. Why did you go back again? What's wrong with you? But no, he only started messaging her one time. Maybe he did know, but like I said, not... He never understood the full extent of it. And that's kind of where I was like, you, you call this guy creepy just because he probably didn't understand the whole extent of it all? I don't know. But what I'm not for is people calling French fried girl Islamophobic, a racist, a bigot, whatever. No, she's not that. Nobody wants to admit the truth that Frenchie is just blunt and honest, and probably always will be for the rest of her days. Yeah. Okay. So, we don't ever have to be friends, Frenchie. We don't ever have to be friends. But I do want you to know that I feel bad for you. I want you to know that I do have a soft spot for you still. And you are amazing. I love your Chantal stuff. I, I'm i sorry. I'm sorry for everything you've been through lately. I'm sorry for all of it. Okay? I really am. And I hope everything starts to turn around for you and that you start to feel better emotionally, mentally, maybe even physically. Um, just, yeah, that's, that's really it. Um, there's too many people coming after you. And I just feel that you deserve better. I do. And that's coming from somebody who has had 
you know. Look, if somebody who has beef with somebody can say that much. I have watched streams, okay? I have watched old streams, new streams. She has never once been racist, homophobic, anything, Islamophobic. She's never been any of that. People just throw, toss things out of her, out of their, like they, they pull things out of their butts and hope to the Lord they just, they aren't dirty. You know what I mean? They, honestly, honestly, people make no sense. No sense. Frenchie, I, I want you to, I, I really do. Like I said, I hope things turn around. I hope things start getting better. And I hope that uh, Chantal's uh, minions don't destroy your channel because I do love watching your Chantal stuff. And usually when the stream uploads on the replay, I will skip through to the part I want to see. And I don't know why I didn't do that sooner, but whatever. I guess I in some way wanted to hear your thoughts on certain things. And now that whole thing with, I'm just gonna call her RP. Um, let's see, what could I call her? Um, there was a whole thing with a Discord server and she was in it and French Fried Girl was in it and uh, like French Fried Girl wasn't there as much because of the um stuff with her mom and RP was calling her racist and or making racist comments rather and and her, like upsetting people in the Discord server and she didn't know that and so a lot of people were just like I don't know. They were accusing Frenchie of like just. I can't remember all of it. I didn't really care enough to listen to the whole entire thing, but I'm going to go with Frenchie's word only because I've never heard her be racist to anyone. She even tr she even tries to cover a lot of this stuff. I watch enough to get the gist at this point, and then I skip through to the main part. I don't care enough for all the drama, but I think it's ridiculous that people are, oh, Frenchie's a bully, Frenchie's a racist, Frenchie's blah, 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 blah. Frenchie's blunt, like me. Okay, I'd be the same way if people were calling me stupid stuff. Actually, I probably wouldn't, I probably wouldn't upload it myself. Maybe I would, maybe I would. Like if I had to block my first comment, I would. I don't care about what, like, I don't care what your thoughts are, Frenchie. I don't even care, but I don't know. I think you guys should, should give her some, like, put some respect on her name. She, she's lost her mom. She, she's going through a lot. Okay, and the last thing she needs is people coming after her and screaming at her, calling her stupid names. All right? Thank you. Okay, well, that's all I wanted to say for this. I will get back to another reaction video. I'm not sure what I want to react to next. I'm not sure if I wanted to be a, um, an old, either an old Chantal video or maybe, maybe a vegan video. Not sure. Chantal has threatened to strike people again, so I probably won't do a Chantal one. I'll have to look around. Vegans are boring. They're boring lately. So I don't know. I'll have to figure out something. Maybe I'll maybe I'll watch a carnivore video and react to that and give my thoughts on that. Uh, someone to give me an idea for a carnivore reaction, so I there was a Sean Baker video I watched actually just a little while ago and uh, something about it just rubbed me the wrong way. Maybe I'll react to that one. Okay. Um, yeah. So I will see you guys in the next one. Later.